Welcome to the channel The Practical Study. Today we are going to learn how much hot water for process can be recovered from generator jacket water. Before moving to the details, it is to request you please subscribe our channel and press the notification bell. If you are familiar with a power plant, then this is a schematic diagram of a generator in which we use the waste heat to hot our process water. For example, we have a JGS 420 1.5 megawatt generator. Hot water from generator moves to the after recovery heat exchanger where it exchanges heat with the cold water of the process and when its temperature drops down, the cold water moves back to the generator in order to maintain the temperature body, uh, temperature of generator body. While on the secondary side, cold water from the process moves to the after recovery heat exchanger, it absorbs heat from the engine jacket water and moves back to the process which is our concern and in this way we can save uh, our fuel consumption which we use to heat this process water. So this is the scenario in which we use the waste heat of generator for heating of process water. Otherwise what conventionally uh, what happens on secondary side there is cooling tower in which we uh, absorb the heat and waste it to the environment. So but in this case we are using the waste heat of generator jacket water to heat our process water which is saving of money. Now the question is how this calculation can be done and how this process uh, is calculated and how this happens. For understanding of this let's take a practical example. For example we have a generator JGS 420 Gen Bakker. Our process water required temperature is 70 degree centigrade and the water which we uh, take from process as a cold water its temperature is 50 degree centigrade. If we install after recovery heat exchanger to generator to use its waste heat then how much hot water can I recover? So we have two temperatures given of secondary side and secondary side flow rate we need to calculate. But for the primary side we have no data. So for the data of primary side we will take the technical data sheet of Genbaker JGS420 in which all the required information is mentioned. If you will see uh, this generator technical data sheet then hot water flow rate on primary side is 40.1 meter cube per hour. The water which moves back to the generator is 75 degree centigrade and the hot water comes out of the generator has a temperature of 95 degree centigrade. Let's put all this data on the previously discussed schematic diagram. So hot water from generator temperature is 95 degree centigrade, cold water to generator has temperature of 75 degree centigrade and on primary side water flow rate is 40.1 meter cube per hour. These all three data we have taken from the technical data sheet of JGS 420 which you can easily google or you can ask this technical data sheet from the supplier. Now on the secondary side we have the water from the process which need to be heat is 50 degree centigrade temperature and after heating we have to heat this uh, water until the temperature of 70 degree centigrade. Now the question is on secondary side what will be the water flow rate. Putting symbols for making our calculation easy generator jacket water T1 is equal to 95, T2 75 and primary side water flow rate M1 is equal to 40.1 meter cube per hour. While on secondary side the water which comes from the process T4 50 degree centigrade T3 
is 70 degree centigrade and on secondary side water flow rate we need to calculate that how much hot water we can recover from this 1.5 megawatt generator. So given data we have primary side T195, T275, M140.1 meter cube per hour but for the calculation I need to convert this volumetric flow rate into the mass flow rate and for the mass flow rate I need to multiply this volumetric flow rate with density and density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube so density multiplied by volume will be equal to mass flow rate so by multiply 40.1 with a thousand we get 40 40100 kg per hour 40100 kg per hour on secondary side T3 is 70 degree centigrade which is our requirement T4 50 degree centigrade the water which we uh, get from the process but we have to heat the water until the temperature of 70 degree centigrade so what will be the flow rate which we can recover if we maintain temperature on secondary side on these values so on solution we uh, if we talk about uh, the efficiency of heat exchanger then heat rejected by the primary side we need to absorb on secondary side so we can say that heat rejected by primary side will be equal to heat gained by secondary side multiplied by efficiency of heat exchanger is efficiency or is 90 percent then the 90 percent heat will be uh, absorbed and the 10 percent will be lost to the environment so q1 is equal to efficiency multiplied by q2 Q1 is heat rejected by primary side is equal to E efficiency multiplied by Q2 heat gain or absorbed by secondary side of heat exchanger. So we know the basic formula of heat rejection or absorption is MC delta D. So on primary side M1 multiplied by heat capacity of water which is constant multiplied by temperature difference on primary side T1 minus T2 efficiency we have taken 90 percent so 0 0.90 multiply by M2 multiply by C and T3 minus T4 but this C is the constant or and it's the constant value of water so this will be cancelled by this now the simplified equation will be m1 multiplied by t1 minus t2 is equal to 0 0.90 multiplied by m2 multiplied by t3 minus t4. Now putting all values m1 we have 40,100 kg per hour, t1 we have 95, t2 we have 75, efficiency 0 0.90, m2 we need to calculate, t3 is our required hot water temperature of process, t4 we take from the process which is 50 degree centigrade so solving this taking this difference multiply by 40,100 it will be 80, uh, it will be 8 like and 2000 is equal to taking the difference it will be 20 multiply by 0 0.90 we will get 18 m2 so continue this calculation this 18 will move there and it will be divided. So the final answer is double four triple five point five six kg per hour. For volumetric flow rate, we divide it by density of water and we will get M2 44.55 meter cube per hour. That means by installing installing a after heat recovery heat exchanger and for the temperature of 70 degree centigrade for process I can recover 44 cubic meter of water so you you can calculate that 44 meter cube of hot water I can uh, easily gain by the waste heat of generator so this was our today's video I hope you like this if you like this please share in your comments and share this video with your colleagues and friends Thank you so much.